let's take a look back at Lavernia. Obviously, uh, you guys put a stout uh, defensive effort, uh, held them to five first downs, 75 yards total, something like that. Um, they, they're not in the caliber of the team that you played the week before or you're going to play this week, but it, that, that was a salty effort. Yeah, no doubt. You know, and traditionally they are. You know, I, I don't want to undersell Lavernia just because they're two and three rounds deep the last, I mean, decade. I mean, that's just kind of who they are. They've been one of the best teams in Region 4, uh, for a Division 1 for 10 years. You know, and, and, you know, they don't have as much talent this year, obviously, but uh, uh, at the same time, they got a tradition-rich program. They're going to be in the playoffs again. You watch and see and uh, probably be two, two rounds again. I know that you guys are mixing and matching and trying to sort of feel your way through, you know, uh, on offense. How are things coalescing and coming together as a group? Well, there's no doubt, you know, it's never, I tell people Friday nights, it's never as good as it feels and it's never as bad as it feels, you know, uh, you know, right after the football game. It felt like we stoned them and we could get in Saturday morning and defensive staff is mad at a lot of different things because we could have been better. Uh, offensive staff, was mad going in, but but realized we did a lot of great things. You know, it's just we want, it's one play. It's just like it's football. That's why it makes it such a great game. Is because it's one person here or there uh, from 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 scoring 35, 42 the other night. You know, and uh, and we just got to fix those things. It's non-district football. It's all about getting ready for uh, those Gonzalez Apaches here in a few weeks, and uh, uh, this is another great test on that road. Two outstanding, really, efforts back to back here against Argyle and Lavernia, uh, you had to be really proud of the effort Friday night. Oh, we were, uh, definitely were defensive staff. I mean, they worked their tails off uh, every weekend, get the boys ready to play. The boys were a little upset. We came up short against Argyle. Uh, kind of, It was kind of like everybody around the state was like, oh yeah, you came up so close, but our boys knew we were better than that. Uh, they came out ready Friday night, and I think they proved that by holding them under 100 yards. I mean, very, very good offensive there with Lavernia. I mean, they go deep every year, so I mean, they, they they did what they had to do just to prove a point. Against Argyle, it was really just that one series, you know, lapse of series. I mean, you guys play, have played outstanding for two weeks in a row. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, it was just two two plays, two small plays that, you know, could have been fixed. I mean, if we had had that first game against Liberty Hill, you know, we, we probably could have had those those fixed. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we learned from that. You know, every week, we tell the kids every week, you know, get better day by day. Worry about today only. Once it's over, now we worry about the next day. Now, were you guys really upset that they got five first downs the other night? <laughs> well, off off the record, off the record. No, there's no, nothing on. But that. on the record, uh, yeah, we were. You know, because we felt we're better than that. You know, we, we tell the kids you can't you can't lose if you hold up zero on the right. scoreboard. And we did. You know, and they can't if they don't get first downs. There's no chance for them scoring. That's pretty so, much I mean, an all sport. Exactly. If, exactly. You pitch a shutout, you win. Pretty much. Usually, uh, let's talk about uh, your senior leadership on defense. Um, Tell, tell us about the guys that are stepping up uh, because I know a lot of pressure uh, is on you guys with uh, JK being at, out in the offense, not being at, at full speed. Right, that, and that's the big thing. You know, he went down and everybody's saying, you know, we don't have anybody, but we've always had these kids here. Uh, and they've known they're good. And now it was their chance to prove and they're showing it. Uh, we have Day Day coming out, with our senior safety. He's doing a great job leading our two corners, Merv and Screech. Those two guys are outstanding when it comes to leadership. I mean, they're, they're, they're getting the young bucks going, making sure they're doing good. And Dalton Ward moving the inside backer from outside. I mean, he's been a true, a true help for us on the inside there. What about the, uh, the interception the other night? What, uh, what was your key? What, how did you read that? Well, um, I saw the backfield was all tricky with slot T, but I read through it, saw the quarterback backing up, so I was like, okay, pass. Kind of saw the receivers and tight end kind of go out for a pass, so I kind of backed up into him, and I was reading the quarterback's eyes, and the ball came right over my head, and I caught it. All right. Well, it's pretty salty on defense. You guys held them to 75 total yards and five first downs. What's your personal goal for this year? This year, um, first, of all, first and foremost, make playoffs. Do you, do you feel like the defense is starting to coalesce and come together a little bit? Oh, yeah. Honestly, our defense, something I was expecting, you know. We have about like seven returning back from defense, and shows it really. We've been we've been holding our our uh, opponents to you know less than 20. I know our guy like I had like 15 on us, but still I think our defense is coming to, coming together pretty well. I think I asked uh, Noah this last week. When you run up against an opponent that's larger than you, uh, 
you, coaching plays a big part of it because they they uh, tell you what position to be in. But how do you how do you personally try and deal with that? You know, someone bigger than you, you gotta you gotta have technique. You know, you gotta be in with speed, and you know you gotta play low because you know coaches always say low man wins. What about the tackle numbers that you've been able to uh, put together the last couple of years? What uh, what do you think uh, plays the biggest part in in your preparation to be in the right spot? Well, the coaches the coaches honestly they help me put they put us all in the right good spot. You know, they coach us hard when we're out there practicing. You know, we all tr we all tell each other to swarm to the ball, and that's that helps us, that helps everyone to you know run to the ball. Don't stop going until the whistle's blown.